What's up guys? Dude, it's Devin here, bringing you another Knights of the Old Republic video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Sith armor. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our order. The Jedi is never alone. Others in the order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited, and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You've done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. First, let us consider why we would want to do this. Aside from having super cool cutscenes with Sith armor like you just saw, we're also going to be looking at the stats of the Sith armor itself. Compared to a Jedi robe and a Jedi knight robe, the Sith armor has the same stats as a Jedi knight robe, which is really interesting. At first glance, this I'm may here. all seem a little underwhelming. Besides, there are plenty of armors in a game that give much more than a two bonus to defense. Sure. But what's unique about the Sith armor is that it does not restrict the player from using force powers. This makes it equivalent to a Jedi Knight robe for all practical purposes with just a different skin. Sure. Under normal conditions, by the time you had a Jedi in your party, you would already have traded away this armor. And also, it's technically just clothing. Let's talk about the steps that are necessary to get multiple copies of the Sith armor. First, we obtain the Sith armor on Terrace. Let's go to the apartments in the upper city north. If we spoke to Sarna in the cantina, then the Sith will be having a party here and you can join. Otherwise, you'll find a couple of enemies in this room that you can kill. Hey, and you made it. Just take the Sith armor if you were going off to of show. their bodies. The party's in full swing. Come on in. You have to try this Teresian ale. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Sana. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. And now with everyone passed out drunk, we can loot the containers to find our Sith armor. It is crucial that you make a copy of the Sith armor as soon as you obtain it, because very soon in the game, you will be trading that armor away and will no longer have access to it. We're gonna perform an item duplication and I have a full video that I'll attach in the description. But basically, we're going to grab an energy shield, use the energy shield, and when the character's performing this movement, we're going to switch to the menu in the middle of that movement. Go to our armor and try to equip the Sith armor. It's gonna look like it didn't equip. We'll change characters and equip the Sith armor to Karth, when we come out of the menu, it pulls that little glitch, and now we have two. At this point, it's really important to save the game and reload the game so that the item becomes a permanent item and does not crash the game later. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. I'll be going over how to keep your lightsabers on in the next video. So if you're interested, click that subscribe button. May the force be with you.